This is the song, Pat. Yeah, I don't know either. I don't think this is the Slice of Life song. Come on in. Mike, are you there? I'm sure Mike will pop in whenever. Welcome to Slice of Life. Uh, I am Jason Gore in studio with... Hey, I'm Pat Byrne, and uh, where Mike is, it's 10 to 6 a.m., so I don't think he's, <laughs> I don't think he's with us. He said that he had a really good spot on a couch. So he may have dozed off, but he was tweeting about when I was singing Aerosmith, he, he said that this isn't his Aerosmith. And I agree, because technically it's not my Aerosmith either. Uh, so Andrew Gleason, we'll need to reset the cams ahead of some I'll, I'll, ha I'll make it happen. Wonderful. Very cool. Well, welcome to Slice of Life. Uh, you can give us a call right now, 201-989-0012. Topic, anything literally goes. Uh, just give us a ring, and let's go ahead. I'm going to resume calls here. And uh, what, gonna... what, a, what a marathon so far. What a marathon so far. Conan, uh, Adam, Pete, Adam McKay. Peter Buck from REM. Yeah, that was a great one. Uh, karaoke. Yeah. Julie Nick Klausner, Thorburn, John yeah. Vanderslice, live. Like, we've been working on, uh, you know, best show uh, twenty four for months now. Yeah, and you know, we knew we knew it was going to be big. We knew it was going to be fun. Yeah, we knew it was going to be a good time, and uh, yeah, it's kind of paying off. And we're not even we're not even halfway through. No, the adrenaline is going, and uh, Brett Boehm is is he, he just told me he's going to stay up the entire time. Um, Brett, is that true? Um, hold on a second. Sorry, let me make sure I'm on. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this, this, the, the, immediately, the answer is no. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try, guys. Gonna I mean, try? there's so much. Uh, just, I mean, how can you, how can you not ride this wave? You know, I mean, I know. everything you just listed. Yeah. Uh, it's just there's just such a feeling of of just euphoria in the air right yeah. now over yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm feeling great, and uh, I'm a, look. I'll say this: I'm gonna last as long as I can physically last. I'm I'm gonna yeah. be right Sudan there. Sudan archives. With you. Also forgot. To oh mention. my god! Oh god! Sudan archives. Is when so you hear great. a thud on the other side of this wall, come get me. Yes. But until then, I'll be awake. Yes. Um, Fair enough. Like I said, we're 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 about ha we're not even halfway through. We've had so much amazing stuff happen, and uh, here, here's what I'm just gonna say: I'm not gonna give any spoilers, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna say. To listen, I mean, you want to listen to the rest of it, but you definitely you might want to listen around 11 a.m. PST. Just saying, just saying. Uh, I'll give another spoiler here Cinnamon Boys at 4 a.m. Yeah, you might want to listen 10 30 a.m. Uh, EST. EST, that'd be what 7 30 here. Yeah, 7 30 here. What, I don't even know what you're referring to. I'll, I'll refer to something that it, it may give some people, some people might have ESP about this EST. Oh, yeah. I, I have I have truly missed being in a studio uh, with you. <laughs> well, and, likewise. And hearing those uh, it just happened naturally. Oh, hey, it was, we are on camera. Uh, here you go. This is uh, yeah. Tom's new paperback. It looks great, it's pink. It's got another chapter it's also in it. Why we're here? Yeah, it's why we're here. It's also you know we're we've relaunched the best show in Los Angeles, uh, so we're making uh, we're making it a a, a big deal. It comes and with a bonus chapter and a bonus comic. Yeah, from uh, another person who we might yeah hear from who you may hear from them tonight. Uh, I we do have a caller who's been on for one hour and twenty two minutes. I have two hours and fifty three minutes. Oh my god! Two so, hours and fifty eight minutes. Almost so, three. So John hours. in Dallas, uh, welcome to Slice of Life. I know it's not uh, Best Show twenty. Well, it is Best Show twenty four, but I know it's it's not Tom. But how are you doing? I'm doing okay, man. I'm in the dark. You're in the dark. Yeah, you, it's just there's just no light where you are. You in a basement? I have something. You in a boiler room? Oh, no, I'm in like my Like a room. high school boiler room? No, I'm not in a boiler room. I'm in my own room. I'm in my own bed. Very nice. Well, what what did you want to talk yeah. to Tom about? Maybe we can talk to you about it. I want to talk about, because a few weeks ago, um, 
there was a discussion about A.J. Weberman. Uh, Pat, you know him? Pat, look up A.J. Tom knows. Weberman. Just really quickly. Oh, yeah, we, we know who that is. Just look it up, Pat. A.J. Weberman. I have no idea. Sounds like a basketball player. Is it a basketball player? No, no, it's an American the writer. The Dylanologist. Right. Oh, a Dylanologist. Okay. He's a politically activist, uh, gadfly, and inventor of the term garbologist and Dylanology. Okay. Best known for his controversial opinions on and personal interactions with the musician Bob Dylan. Not to be confused with Ratso, right, caller? With, I'm sorry, what, with whom? Uh, Ratso. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, I don't understand. I, um, I don't either. Ratso is another fa- right famous, you, another famous Bob Dylan interactor. Or Soy Bomb. Oh, I see. Soy Bomb's another one. Yeah. Soy Bomb, of course I know. Of course I know Soy Bomb. Yeah, personally, look, look up Ratso, Bob Dylan. Yeah, we'll just no. Google things right now. Well, uh, John, I, I hate to say it, we we don't really know much about this, uh, so maybe uh, call in a little later. Larry Ratso Slaman is not going to let this is go. a New York based author. He's 72 years old. Uh-huh. He's released two albums, Stubborn Heart and Rattled Live. When I saw Bob Dylan at the NJ Pack, between songs, when he had a moment just like tuning, he was like, he looked up in the audience, he was like, Is Ratso here? I haven't seen Ratso in a while. Dylan said this to you, or he, he said it on mic? He said it on mic to, oh, okay. to the audience. Did yeah. you sneak into this show? No, no. Um, David Godless uh, had an extra ticket, and I went with him. Thank you, David Godless. Humble brag. Yeah. All right. Well, John, maybe call back later. Uh... Would you guys do me a solid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys could do me a solid. I will do you a solid, John um, in Dallas. Could you keep me on? Would you keep me on hold because I can wait <laughs> a little longer? Are you for, serious? For Tom, yeah. Okay, man. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna put you in the queue. I, I, I How don't. How long do you think he'll be? Tom's asleep right now. John, so John a bit. honestly, Dreamland. I'm going to tell you, I would call back later because we do have some other interviews and bands coming up. I'm falling asleep. Good night, folks. I love you. All, All right. right. We love night. you too, John. Are we putting him back on hold or is he going to call back? I, he, he should call back. There we go. I'm just answering this cold. <laughs> I have no idea who this is. No, I just put him in the queue. Uh, but hello and uh, welcome to Slice of Life. Mike, are you there? Are you awake? Mike, uh, All right. Hello. AP, AP Mike. Hi, who do we have? Hi, uh, oh, hello, he's, caller. He's gone. Okay, well, that was great. I'm gonna let's go with uh, that was wonderful. Let's go with 603. I got it. All right, slice of life. What's going on? Hello, yeah, Hi. hello, hello. You're on with Pat and Jason. This is going great. Is this the Slice of Life show? This is Slice of Life. Yeah. It's uh, it's also a slice of sleep for Tom. Yeah. He is... Uh, uh, Krems81, I am going to I am gonna check for Mike every uh, every second here, because I'm, I'm trying to wake him up, honestly. So who do we have actually on the call? This is Andy in New Hampshire. Andy, New Hampshire. What's going on? I'm a. I just wanted to be a part of uh, Best Show 24. I was so excited about it. And, and you are here. Have you been listening since the beginning? I well, you know what, Jason. I started listening about an hour in. Okay. And uh, I caught uh, Joe Firestone. Very cool. Joe's the best. And uh, then uh, I had to go to bed because I was very tired. Right. Right. Is the sun is the sun and, up in New uh, Hampshire right now? I'm sorry, Jason. Is, is the sun up in New Hampshire? Like if you look out your window and the, the sun's coming through. The sun is up in New Hampshire, Good yes. Lord. And New Hampshire's sun is up. That's me. Yeah, we, we couldn't stop it. Well, New Hampshire's sun, uh, do you have anything for the uh the previous topics that Tom threw on the table? Well, the one topic I remember was uh, you know, something dumb. Right, that you yeah you, you did. Right. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. I That's mean, still sure. on the table. Can I? Can I? I did something dumb last week. You want to hear about it? I would love to hear the dumb thing that you did. Okay. All Let's right. It's it. it's a bit long, but if you don't mind, I'll get into no, it. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, he's got to sleep. 
Okay, I was going to say, yeah, like if you, like, it's not like you guys don't have time. Oh, no, we have plenty of time. We have at least until 3.30. <laughs> we have, if, you, if this is a 30-minute story, we're all for it. If you can stretch it okay. out, just stretch. <laughs> that'd be no, great. I, well, I won't make it last that long, but okay. I, but I okay. will, I will uh, give you a little, uh, I, w- I will take up some of your time Please here. Please do it. Yeah, anyway, so uh, what had happened was my wife had told me our sink was clogged. Mm-hmm. And uh, wait, so you, you need to start this right. You need to start this right. It was a day like any other. It was a day like any other. There fellas. we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. No, the the kitchen sink the kitchen sink was backed up, and I thought initially that well, if it's the kitchen sink, it must be, uh, it must be the uh, uh, a garbage disposal. Ladies right? and gentlemen, we have officially hit the three a.m. hour. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Three, three a.m. Uh, Pacific, six a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That yeah. is the. The best show 24. This is the slice of life uh, 40 minute break for Tom. And yeah. we are talking about sinks and garbage disposals. Caller, please yeah. take it away. Take uh, us there. Paint the scene. Yeah. Ninth, ninth so, hour. anyway, so the garbage disposal, yes. I, I initially assumed that because the sink was backing up, that it must have been the garbage it's disposal. It's got to be the garbage disposal. So, I, I yeah. So, I, so I, I, uh, I said, well, l- let me take a look at it. And I tried yeah. it, and the garbage disposal appeared to be working as I put a, a stick down there because I didn't want to put my hand down there and lose all my digits. What, what kind of and stick? And I found that, you know, the garbage disposal. What, did you go out to what a kind tr- of stick? Did you, you know what, I'm going to be honest with you, Jason. I lied about the stick. It wasn't a stick, okay? Oh, it was, man. Well, it was, I'm starting stick. to think this is a stick. It was a wooden spatula <sighs> handle, Jason. Okay. That's not a stick. No, it's not a stick. Jason, I couldn't think of the word spatula. You're really painting a picture. I thought you went out to like a crab apple tree. Yeah. Okay, so See, now it, you're painting just... me as a liar. Jason, no, I'm, no, I'm okay. not painting you as a liar. It was a wooden spatula handle. Okay. It was a wooden spatula handle that right. I put down there in order to make sure that the the gears were still grinding properly. Okay. Okay. Anyway, so they were grinding properly, and I thought, okay, well, it's obviously something else got to be something else. So I, I, uh, right. It was beyond, it was beyond the garbage disposal. In other words, it was in the, the pipe. Is right? this the name of your memoir? I'm sorry? Beyond the garbage disposal? Is that the name of your <laughs> no, memoir? No, I think his, I think a better memoir is I used a stick. I think, <laughs> see, I know, I, I think, I think it's one of those titles that's, that's got a colon in it. And then the second part is, um, about the stick. I gotta say, Twitch Twitch chat well, thinks you're you e-cigs, man. Jason and yeah. uh, and uh, who else is there? Yeah. Who else we got? We got Pat there. Yeah. Wait, this is, wait, this wait, is... wait, wait, let's take. No, one... I know Tom's. I Tom. I'm sorry. Go ahead, fellas. I just want to say, let's take one second. To just, question, let's you speak before we get to the rest of your disposal story, which I gotta tell you, thir- 382 listeners and viewers on Twitch are riveted. We're going to get this, Andy. We're going to get this. <laughs> but Mike, are you awake? Mike Lisk, are you awake? Captain Mike. Well, we tried. Okay, Andy, keep going. Dr. Cronut. Okay, so well, we, I, well, we... I just can't go on if AP Mike isn't listening. No, 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 you I'm can. Not, you can. The, you, you put the stick I was in. Gonna, I was going to ask, though, have you fellas, have you, before I move on with my story, uh, Jason, have you guys uh, been able to get any sleep? No, no. But I like being called or a fella. Is this, is this a twenty-four? <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, hey, fella. I like fella. Hey, fella. That, have you have you gotten uh, any a few sleep, weeks fella? ago when you guys were talking about uh, boss, chief, and all the names? I fella was not on there, and I I do like fella. I feel like that's um, it's archaic, and I I it's it's adorable. Okay. <laughs> so so tell us so so fella. Here's what we did. What you tie, you you used your stick, you checked it, and now what's going on? You know that it, you know that the garbage disposal is working. <laughs> yeah, someone wrote. Yes, yeah. so I know that the garbage it. disposal is working, so that the clog must be somewhere beyond the garbage disposal. Again, okay. that's title of my memoir: Beyond the no, Garbage Disposal. No, 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 no. no wait, Sarah, Sarah on the chat wrote the perfect title. Just as I said, there's a subtitle. It's Beyond the Garbage Disposal, colon, a, a stick story. That's the full title of your I memoir. That's a, that's a Disney movie, I a stick called, story. It's called Beyond the Garbage I Disposal, yeah. a stick story. That's yeah, a David pick. Lynch is lining up right, to direct I'm this one. Fa- it's I'm Pixar, though. I don't think, I don't when, know, I, uh, when I publish. It's Pixar by Disney. Mike, Are you ready? Wake up. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, so I said, you know what? We need is some Drano. So I, I, oh, we had a bottle of Drano. Drano. Yep. And it was probably about a you know a third of the way full of those larger bottles of Drano, 
Okay. And I said, this will take care of the problem. And I poured the Drano right down into the sink. Uh, and I gave it a half hour because, you know, you give it a half hour. Right? You got to give it a half hour. And That's what it interim, says on the while bottle. I was waiting. Jason, you're stepping on the most exciting part of the story. No, Am I? This isn't the exciting part. <laughs> okay. No, no, it's going to get very exciting. Oh, Just hang oh, in there. Okay. Because okay, you're going to hear how stupid I was. Oh, Because, again, this is, you know, for those who forgot by right. now because I'm. I'm into it, Jason. No, Andy, we're doing this. What happened? This is the, this is the, this is the stupid thing I did. Okay. So I, I'm wait till you hear because you're not going to believe it. Oh, I'm, right. I'm going to be floored. I'm going to get up and leave, go home and sleep. You may. Yeah. You can't walk out on the 24-hour best show, Jason. We'll see. This is too important. Oh, I can. Anyway, okay. So I give it a half hour. Meanwhile, I'm boiling water because heck, you you, you got to pour some hot water down there after you let the Drano set in for a half hour. Did you guys hang up on me? No, no man. We're here. Jason so you, thought about it. You, but, you, oh, but, okay. I did. I did consider it, Andy. But uh, like, so you pour the hot water down. What happens? So I, I pour this boiling hot water down there, and I said, okay, maybe that's fixed the problem. But no, it's still backing up. Oh, my God. So I boil more hot water. And oh. I do this for about 45 minutes. Okay. And then after about 45 minutes of boiling the hot water and dumping it down the drain continuously, I said, that, I, I don't know what else to do. The, the water is still backing up. I'm going to leave. And I, I think to myself, I got an idea. And this is the, the stupid thing I did. It would be I an... decided to run the dishwasher. I thought that would be a good idea. Uh-huh. It would be inappropriate <laughs> if we bad companied, right? <laughs> well, me... If you and I were the first let me pull of the up night. The... Okay, so you ran the dishwasher and what? Was it full of sticks? No, the dishwasher was full of dishes, Jason. My God. Okay, dishes, you know, everything. So I filled hey, up the dishwasher. Can somebody with all uh, the, uh, out there dishes. let Alex Gordellis in? Thank you. If anybody out there out in the doubt. I'll just do it. Alex Gordellis, uh, one of the cinnamon boys, is here. So sorry about that, Andy. Good luck. That's okay, buddy. You, okay. Pat, Pat literally you said... You ready, fellas? No, give me what. I just want to <laughs> say, Andy, that, that Pat literally said good luck as he walked away. Because <laughs> he knows how excited I'm, I am to hear the end of this story. Okay, so so Jason, I, I'm stupid. This is the stupid thing I did, and, and you'll find out why it's stupid in a moment. I ran the dishwasher while the again the uh, sink was backing up uh, because I thought for some reason that well maybe when the dishwasher drains it'll drain into the sink and push all the the junk in the line through, right? Because it drains it, the the dishwasher would drain out through the same piping that the the uh the sink does but but here's the problem jason so i go upstairs and, I, and i'm 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 doing my job i'm literally working for about an, an hour because i work from home no i shouldn't say i'm working for about an hour i'm working for about 20 minutes and the dishwasher is probably at this point about halfway through the cycle so at this point i go down and say i better go and check on things and see how well, things are going me. well i walk into the kitchen Wait, he didn't. What, he was about to tell us what oh, happened. Oh no, I dropped the call. Oh God, I'm never gonna know what happened to his drain, Pat. We I lost you, Pat. It's three oh eight. We lost you in the morning, Mike. Wake up. All right, this one's good. This guy's from Mexico City. Okay, okay. let's uh, let's oh, go God. right to him. That's one of the worst um, things I've ever heard in my life. Hi, is this Juan from Mexico City? I love you, hi. Andy, but my God. Hi, Pat. Hi, Jason. Hey, this, Juan, what's going on, man? How are you? This is him, right? Very well. How are you guys? We're doing good now, now that we're talking to you. What's going on uh, in thank Mexico? Thank you. I got, a, I got something for the first topic. What, can you remind me what the first topic was? That was literally like the annoying things that, that, that you wish you could do. The annoying things you wish you could do. Uh, something like that. Okay. Hit me. That wasn't the topic, Jason or Pat. Oh my God! You guys are losing well, it. Hey, we've, we've merged good luck, at this Pat. point. I'm yeah, walking out. No, no, please remind us. You guys are, are like, as we say in Mexico, you guys are pal perro for pal the perro. dogs. What does that mean? I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> for the dogs. That, that that you guys are, you know, like to the brink. <laughs> on the last straw, you what? guys are dehydrated. Hey, are you guys very tired? I, I am. So here's the thing: I drank a beer I shouldn't have, and then I followed it up with some <laughs> with some liquid IV, 
uh, tropical punch flavor. People were wondering online, it was tropical punch. I'm feeling a little better. I'm okay. It's it's 3.09. We're getting through it. We're getting through it. Tom's and you asleep. guys also, one, that, that, that burns a lot of calories and, yeah. you know, we'll see. it depletes your soul. It depletes my soul? Uh, yeah, like Chan Tsung from Mortal Kombat. Oh, yeah. You guys don't know. Can I say one thing about the last caller really quick? One one thing. Yes. Um, you know, I gave a lot of unsolicited yeah. advice in the past about lantern flies and how to wash your fruit. And right. So I just want to say, don't... Uh, wait, wait, Pat, Pat, Pat. We're not getting into the fruit tonight. No, no, no. We're not getting into the fruit. I can't. No, no. I'm just going to say this. He, he mentioned Drano. Don't buy Drano. It's really bad it's for green, the environment. Green gobbler. Yeah. You have that stuff? Um, I've used that. You could just use just buy a hot water works by itself. Too. Uh, well, you got to pack baking soda in first. But you have really to use good. real sticks. You got to you got if you pack baking soda in really good band. and a little bit of white vinegar and then you pour the hot water that usually breaks up oh, a vinegar. Yeah, a white vinegar, baking soda, hot hot water in a teapot. If Nailed that doesn't it. work, just just rent or borrow a snake from someone and snake your drain. Don't don't buy Drano. It's really horrible for the earth. Anyway, uh, Juan, what do you got? Uh, yeah, I, I forget that in the United States, plumbers make more than dentists. It's like yeah, a very big it's just true. Uh, luxury. It's yes. called true. a professional to fix your pipes. Uh, here's so, the thing so, I did. Okay. I, I, some, I, I, as we talked about the, the last time, I, I do stand up shows. Nice. So I got a li little bit carried away and I printed out a big, like, banner of my face, you know, to make promo when I do the shows. Okay. So I went to the, to the zone where, where they printed, it's like a special zone in Mexico city. And I paid it, they printed it and I never picked it up. I just left it there. And so much time passed that I got a lot of anxiety uh -huh. of going there and saying, remember me, I printed my face <laughs> and, and you guys got it there. Yeah. So somewhere there's a, ro a big banner, like, you know, like three feet by one feet and a half uh, of my face, just like, just because of anxiety, I guess I was, I, I, because a year passed and it will be just really like like a bummer, you know, to go there and they're annoyed and they 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 tell me that I never did it or that 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 place doesn't exist anymore and that's that's my my contribution to the topic. No, I get, so did you um, you never got it? I never got it. It's so so there is a banner. How how big of a banner are we talking? Like 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 a stage, like uh, a like bar stage. Like a door, you know? Okay. Because it's one of those that you roll out and then you put it in like a stand, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's still there. Like at the airport. Well, it's somewhere. It's probably at the bottom of the sea, you know, like floating somewhere. Um, I guess I, I, do, I do that a lot. I, I throw <laughs> away money. I mean, hey, I, I just I, spend it unnecessarily. I, I am right there with like you. Like I... I well, like you guys do graphic design, right? Sometimes yeah. you get to do it. Yeah, we we have a magic um, person that so does it. Right they, now, I'm doing... sorry. I was just saying we have a magic person that does our uh, does our art for us, uh, who doesn't want to be named. Really, it sounds like a graphic designer. Yeah, uh, I remember Tom talking about editors that uh -huh. they're like like buff, like they're like buff nerds. I mean, he didn't say nerds because he's like a nice guy. Right, but, but you could say, uh, we could say like it. They're, they're fit, but they're also very shy. Yeah. Graphic designers are not fit. No. They're like, they're very unhealthy. <laughs> just, uh, just like me. Preach. Cool. Juan, thank you so much for calling. We got a few more we got to burn through before we wake Tom up. Thanks for calling from all the way from Mexico City, yeah, Juan. It's, so it's always nice calling. to hear from you. Thank you, guys. 
Take care. Have a good one. You, you too. too. All right. All right. So I put a few in the bank. Which one do you want to go to? You um, tell me. Let's just go oldest to newest. Oldest to newest. That's very nice. You're a, you're a kind person. That's democratic. Not, not many people say that, but I do. <laughs> Here we go. Right back at you. <laughs> also, I, th- I think um, Sync Guy is trying to call back. Oh, oh, Andy, if you want to call back and end that and and do it, I you know I am still curious, and we love you, Andy. You call you call back, and we just uh you know we took that opportunity for a good, uh, solid uh, acapella, bad company. Uh, hi, slice of life. Who are we talking to? Oh, oh my God, is this slice of life? This is slice of life for the next fifteen minutes. Well, I just have to say, it is so amazing to be on with the host, the two hosts of my favorite podcast, Taking the Leap. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hey, it was a, it's, it was a great uh, two-episode run. Yeah. Um, oh, my God. Are we ever going to get a third? You know what? You might get a third. Yeah. You might get a third. You might There's get a third. Oh, man. Yeah, Meet My Friends of Friends is when, coming um, back down the road, guys. It is coming when, back. We got some when, big plans when, for it. <sighs> Oh, when the feed updated about the 24-hour show today, the Meet My Friends feed, <laughs> oh, I got so excited for a split second. Yeah. Oh, no, it's coming back. It's coming back for sure. Uh, you know, we just wanted to get settled oh, in, and true. we wanted to get over this best show, uh, 24, you know, hump and do it right, and then, yeah. then we can start focusing. Tom's going to talk a lot about, uh, you know, the Patreon for the future and some big announcements coming up uh, later this morning. So, Yeah. Okay. Hey, but Quantum Leap's back, man. Are you excited about that? Oh, yeah. I didn't even know. Yeah, I know. It, it's, I, I, I'll watch it. I, I don't know if it's going to be any good. But, uh, you know, yeah. we'll find out. We'll find out. So I watched, I watched an episode of Quantum Leap. It was, um, oh, he was pregnant. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's a good one. What is that? That's probably like... Uh, that's like uh, five episodes of it. They're like, well, why don't we just do the pregnant one again? And Scott Beck was like, yeah, whatever. Oh, I'll do it. He hasn't, he hasn't been pregnant yet this season, right? I'll do it. Oh, uh, n- <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't He'll probably come back pregnant. You never know. You never know. Uh, so oh, do, you, yeah. do you have anything for whatever topic or anything? I literally have no idea what the topics are. Um, no. You were just calling in to say hello. Yeah, yeah. I just, I, love uh, I saw you guys were on. I'm like, oh my God. No, this is great. My friends and friends guys are on. Oh. I, I love it. So, uh, yeah, I just, I, Pat's over I just here. called the professional love. Hey, I really appreciate that. And, and meet my friends of friends and take in the leap. We'll be back very soon. Cool beans. All right. We'll talk to you later. Well, yeah, You're that, cool. that's all I got. You're cool. Yeah, have a good night, guys. You too. 201-989-0012 is the number. Mike, you there? Mike? Mike, Mike, Mike you awake? Mike, you there? Mike, you awake? Okay, well, we tried. All right, uh, let's, let's go here. to eight, 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 eight number. Okay. Hey, buddy, you're on the air. It's you. You can't believe you got through. You love the show. <laughs> hey, you love the show. You can't you believe you got show. through. You love the show. You can't believe you got through. <laughs> That's true. Slice of life. Who are we uh, talking to? Who is hey, this? It's Casey from Philadelphia. How you guys Casey doing? Casey from Philly. Big so far fan. You're my hero. Right here. That, that, hero. That's me. Big that's so me. far fan. Uh, Casey, you're my absolutely. hero. Hey, uh, Casey, I got to tell you, I tried to get Steven Stills to call in on this uh, Best Show 24. Really? And uh, it did not pan out. So uh, may, uh, How maybe far for did the you future. Get? Huh? How, How far did you get? Did you, did you, did you, did you, oh, I sent him a message. So far? I sent him a message. I, oh, I got so far. Okay. Yeah. The only the only thing that was still was uh, Jason's email. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Casey, what's going on this uh, morning at 619, uh, your time? I'm sad you couldn't get still. Well, I, I wanted to ask you guys about the Manassas pieces. I, I no one went to bat for Witching Hour, the first track. <laughs> Come on, man. 
Oh, that's t- that's the best song they ever did. Solid song. Solid. It song. is a solid song. Pieces is good. We didn't crap on it's pieces great. at all. Yeah. Look, it's a so- solid. Pieces I I, I, nice. I went to bat for them more than anyone. I said you really that, did. I said that okay. they're a, so- yeah, a solid southern yeah. rock band that doesn't get the credit. You know, Lennon <laughs> Skinner gets all the credit. Manassas is just left. I just I, that's a good one. I just wanted to give uh, some love for that song. And if you need any Manassas boots, I'm your guy. All right. Oh yeah. Hit loaded, us up. Man. Hit us well, my up, dad's man. loaded, so you know. Is your dad Stephen them all, Stills? Man. German television from uh, 71 or 72. That's a good one. Is your name Casey Stills? <laughs> uh, no. Okay. But, well, you know, I, I mean, I, that, would, that would make up. My dad, my dad wishes it was, but it's not. So, he, does, he could legally know. change but it. I just wanted to, you know. <laughs> no, I love that. I love that. Well, thank you for uh, calling in and sticking yeah, up for Manassas. Sure thing, Tom, right. Tom will be really upset that he missed... Uh, Always, always. You, you calling in yeah, to I stick know, up right. for? I think I saw. I think I saw Tom <laughs> walk, walk in the grounds. Oh, you did. Yeah, I think he's he's. Thanks up. for calling, Casey. Bye. Wow, so he's really not sleeping, is he? No, uh, yeah. He he. This guy he wanted he wanted to talk so far earlier. Okay, let's go back. Let's go to this call. Slice of life. Who do we have? So about after twenty minutes of working, right? <laughs> I go downstairs to check. <laughs> I, t- the, I told you this was him. On the dishwasher, right? Oh, my God. I now, love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? What's going on? I walk into a kitchen. It's half <laughs> full of suds all over the floor, Jason. I blew it. Oh, my God. And Pat just left. Well, I would say, Andy, I'm, I'm going to say, again? I'm going to say, Andy, Jason, I flooded the kitchen. That was the, the climax of the story. It, 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 it was dumb. It was dumb. When you say you flooded the kitchen, how many inches are we talking on the ground? Well, you know, uh, I could exaggerate for a. Uh... For the, the sake of entertainment here, why don't we say why don't we say three and a half inches? That's a lot of water. That's 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 a lot of water, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Andy, I got I got to say, I'm so glad you called back in. And you finished that story. Uh, that made my night. That honestly, I was feeling a little tired. That gave me a good belly laugh. I really appreciate the hell out of that. Jason, I love you, buddy. Love you too, man. Thank you for calling. Mike, you All awake? Right, have a great night. You too. Let's go to this one here. Uh, Pat really left. I am in here alone, everybody. Uh, I mean, for all I know, Brett left too. Uh, Brett, how you doing in there? You doing good? 321, buddy? I am alone. I have never felt this alone in my life. Caller, you're on Slice of Life with just me, uh, Jason Gore. How are you? Hey, what's up, Jason? What's going on? Who am I talking to? Uh, This is Taylor from, I guess, formerly L.A., now in the Central Valley of California. Okay. What, What made you move from L.A.? Uh... A lot of things, I guess. You heard we were coming. You <laughs> mainly, heard we were starting things the, up here. The, the the cost of living mostly, yeah. and my wife and I hated our jobs down there. So no, I get we it. We decided to come up here instead. Well, cool. Well, cool. So, uh, what's going on? Uh, why are you calling in? Well, uh, I'm calling in, I guess, kind of because you guys are all married to life partners and i just uh-huh. wanted to shout out mine because she allowed me to take work off tomorrow so i can stay up late tonight and that call in that is and, a uh, that is yeah. a true partner that is a true partner i had to leave a little while ago uh just so i could help my wife get our 17 year old mini dachshund to bed um, and my wife's also being very cool about me, uh, you know, dehydrating myself, uh, for 24 hours for, for a podcast. Um, but that's a, that's a, right. <laughs> that's a very great, that's a good partner I, there, I man. I feel like you, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like you have a, a better reason than I do, but. <laughs> you know what? We all, it's all the same reason. Like we wouldn't be doing this without, you know. And, and it, it's exciting. I, I when we, we we teased this a few weeks ago, you know, a lot of people were tweeting like, oh, man, I'm taking that Wednesday off. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. That is such a cool thing. Like everybody's here to be part of uh, Best Show 24. So are you in it for are you in it to win it? You with us until 6 p.m.? Uh, well, 
the the plan is that I'm going to finish off the rest of the beer that uh-huh. we poured from the brewery. My wife's a brewer. Oh, my and God. so we uh, we poured some beer from the brewery that she uh-huh. is a brewer at. Yeah. And I'm going to finish that up and see how long it takes me <laughs> till I finish it. And then I'm yeah going to go to bed. Then you're going to pass out and, and you're going to rejoin us later. Yeah, of course. OK. Yeah. Well, that sounds um, like a good. That sounds but, uh, like a good plan. Yeah, it's a three twenty-four. I think you'll probably finish that beer. What, like four thirty, five thirty? What are we talking? Sips. I'm, I'm hoping I can see. I'm hoping I can see the sunrise. That's kind of what I'm shooting for. I, you know, I'm hoping I see the sunrise too. I am, and I see Pat's there, and I just want to congratulate Pat on he's recently betrothed. I think right, and one year anniversary. Is that wait? Which which word did you say? Betrothed. Betrothed. Never. It's, it's like a word that. Yeah. It's like Re- a. It's like a fancy movie word. You were recently like Bridgerton. betrothed. Would Re- use it. Caller, say that again. You were recently betrothed. Betrothed. Right? What is yeah. that? It's married. Yeah. I've never heard that word in my life. They don't say married in England. They only say really? betrothed. Time to get betrothed. I was trying to be clever, but I this this did not go over well. I was trying no, to I just don't to know it. In his mind. I just don't know it. Um. Anyway, this is what this is what Conan was talking about when when he was joking about Tom not making any sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, well, I'm gonna say this this caller. Thank you for saying that. Um, my wife is in the I other room. Gonna, I'm just congratulating you, Pat. Yeah. My wife is in the other room. She just asked me to, to uh, fix her a bagel. And I said, no, wow. I got to go back on Mike. And then I came in here. Oh, you should go fix her a bagel, Pat. Yeah, I honestly should. She's... Somebody, Steely Pat yeah, says should. it means engaged, not married. Oh, the plot thickers. Oh, shoot. The, pl- oh, the shoot. plot thickers. Right. Wow. Well, that's... Okay. That's, that's different. Well, we all lose in that one. Uh, well, Caller, what's what's a better movie? Re- real fast, rapid fire. What's a better movie, Thinner or yeah. the or, or or the Frighteners? Ooh. What's what's oh, better? You're, you're gonna the get Brett interested now. The the, fr- fri- the Frighteners is easily better because Thinner is 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 one of the worst Stephen King adaptations <laughs> of all time, Thinner. and it has to do and and they say like they yeah it's a it's a really really bad movie. It's like a really really hard movie to watch again if you try to watch it again it's like really bad so so really, thinner really thinner's bad. worse than Fr- sorry thinner's worse than frighteners frighteners rules man is, there's uh, it's a great movie yeah i agree okay okay agree. what's frighteners better is like there's no contest there's no contest there, i'm gonna pat. i'm gonna i'm gonna thicken it right now hey, hey pat could you thicken it for yeah, us yeah i'm gonna do you have a do you have a uh, <laughs> do you have a do you have a bumper for that i don't <laughs> Pat's going to thicken it. Thicken it. All right. F-f-f- thinking it. <laughs> okay. uh, all right. What's better, um, The Frighteners <laughs> or um, Dr. Sleep, the movie? Oh, Frighteners. Easy. Oh, Dr. Doctor- Sleep is is one of the best uh, recent horror films to come out, honestly. I think um, I, 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 think, I stand uh, behind Dr. Sleep. I, I like, I like the, the, the movie version of that a lot. I Did love you see that movie. it? I didn't and, see it. Does he do the, surgery? The book, the book is not very good. The book is not very good, right. and uh, the movie's like much better. Yeah. I mean, it's like they actually pulled off a, a sequel to The Shining, and it worked. So I like I like Doctor oh, Sleep. Okay. Um, yeah, but yeah. Frighteners has I, Michael I'm a J. Fox. Stephen King fan, so and, and Frighteners is Peter Jackson, correct? No, um, maybe he produced it. I don't no. think he directed it. He didn't direct it. Wow. No, all right, no. It's, no, e- evil, evil dead. Hey, e- evil dead. Evil dead. Peter Jackson. Are you? Yeah. Wait, I don't know if I know this. Are either of you guys Dark Tower fans? Oh yeah, I've seen Dark Tower. It's been a long time. What you no, saw no, the no, movie? The, the book. The book. Oh, you know, book. I I started oh, reading The Gunslinger, and so here's the thing: Dark Tower is one of those books where it's like, oh, I should read Dark Tower, and I've probably read The Gunslinger maybe four or five times. Where it's just like, oh, okay, I, I forgot that I read this. But do you think I should continue on? Yes. Yes, Jason, absolutely. Pat, Pat says yes. Yeah, I mean, um, okay. I would say the first four books are incredible. Uh, the last three books are 
it depends on how you feel about the first four books. Kind of like if hey. you love the characters in the first four books, and you'll it'll carry you through the last three books. But that's kind of like what Stephen King does, where he yeah. like sets you up, and you love these characters all the way seventy five percent through the book, and then he's like, oh yeah, then I'm gonna kind of like screw you at the end. I was about to say the f word, but I really caught myself. I mean, it's class. best it's best show after dark. We're in safe harbor. Hey, hey, just to give an update, everybody. Yeah, Stephen, uh, thanks, so, thanks yeah, to so the Stephen King kind of fucks you at the end of Dark Tower. Okay. Well, um, maybe I won't read them. I do want to give an so update uh, that the uh, Twitch chat. Thank you to everyone in the chat in the Twitch chat. Also, thank you to everyone in the Twitch chat chat for I can't even say it for being so cool all night long so far. Everyone on there has yeah, absolutely been very great. few trolls, but very few, but. Peter Jackson directed The Frighteners, so in your faces. All he right. did. All right. Hey, uh, I got a quick one. Um, AP Mike, are you there? Mike Lisk, are you there? D uh, D Dr. Cronut, are you there? AP Mike, yes, AP Mike. Oh, my God, that frightened me. I'm letting you go. Uh, thank you, Taylor, for the call. <laughs> oh, that... Well, well, this about oh, wraps it up, because we're going to have... Uh, uh, a hotline guest, yeah, and we're going to bring in uh, Tom Sharp. And so why don't we go I'll, to a I'll, song? I will, yeah, let's go to a song. And this was uh, our little slice of life. We might have another one later, but thank you all for joining us for now. And um, uh, sorry we didn't have Mike Lisk on for this moment. You know what? I'm going to, since we had, since we played uh, an eyelid song, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to play one of their older songs all right. that I really enjoy. Um, and we will come back with a special guest and, of course, the man who's awake right now, Tom Sharpling. Uh, this is Eyelids and Slow It Goes on The Best Show. <laughs> 